What's up guys, Mr. Watermelon here, and today I'm bringing you another LEGO Star Wars 2014 Future Set Analysis video. And this time guys, we've got the AT, -A the AT, AT, number 75054, contains 1,137 pieces, will be retailing for 110 US dollars. This is right on the mark with the 10 cents per piece, really hitting it right there. It contains a lot of technique, I know that. But for the minifigures that we get, this is going to be a well worth it, well worth it set. This is another variation of the AAT. I think this is the third or fourth that we've gotten. But for the minifigures included, this is definitely worth it. Let's go straight into the analysis. Here's the AAT. You can see it minifigure height. It is huge. Like, it is really tall. I'll probably have the dimensions later on. But, um, as you can see there, the side flips open. I have more pictures of the side flipping open. Let me see, uh, is it next? Yes, there's the side. There's the um where the troopers will stand. Looks like there's some standing room in there. Very good. And um yeah, that's the body. I love the detail they put into this. Look at the neck detailing right there. You can see on the left side. It looks really cool. It looks like it actually moves sort of. Okay, so now onto the some of the minifigures. We get three snow troopers. And one of them, the one all the way on the left, I think, is a snow trooper commander. Didn't know those existed because we don't really see them much, but he's a bit different because he's got um, a white belt print. He, a white belt, not a um, dark, light gray belt. Jeez, I can't speak today. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, the new Snowtrooper. This is really cool that they redesigned the Snowtrooper. They haven't done this in a long time. I pointed this out in my Snow Speeder analysis. Go check out that video as well. And um, how the... The, uh, what do you call it, the blanket on its face, I guess? It's a helmet. It goes further down, which is more accurate, actually. And it doesn't have a black stud on it. They all have clone faces. I have a picture of that in a minute or so. And the eyes are a bit smaller, more menacing looking. Looks very cool. I love the new design. And they have waist capes as well. So, this is actually really good. A really cool Snowtrooper um, redesign. They look really awesome. I can see... Battle of Hoth people are building an army of these, and even clone people painting them if they want to. But, um, yes, very cool Snowtrooper minifigures. So here we have the AA, the ATAT -AT pilot and General Veers. General Veers, this is a redesign that we got from a battle pack, actually. Both of these. Um, same helmet mold on the ATAT -AT driver. He's just got, like, a more menacing facial looking right there. He's got printing going from his belt... All the way to it looks like the lower belt and his legs. Very cool, very menacing looking. I like it a lot. With the new storm troop, the new storm trooper and sand trooper um, molds look a, uh, helmets. They look a lot better. Go check out those analysis of the Cantina and the Star Destroyer for more information about those. And there's General Veers. They made him look a lot older. I like it. Same uh, helmet mold, and he's got some binoculars and. Um, Here's the under. Here's the uh, head of the ATAT -AT driver, clone head, and uh, there's the back. You kind of see his head right there. A little odd. I don't like that too much. There's General Veers. There's his back printing, and uh, here is the head of the ATAT. -AT -AT. I love the design. Look at that. That's like a shovel on the side there, just to give some extra details. A lot of blasters. Just very cool. The amount of detail they're putting into sets is crazy. There's the cockpit right there. I know the cockpit usually has space for like a, two drivers and general veers, but you know, it's fine. It's not a UCS or anything, so very good. I looks like either some no, that looks like a standard piece in there for the driving controls. So that's good. There's the uh, tail, I guess. But there's the backside. Looks very good. I like the design on it. I like the design on this entire thing. It looks very, really good. The legs. It looks like the legs move. Like, if you can see on the back leg over there, that's kind of sticking out back there, it looks like we got the same kind of joint pieces that we did in the um, ATAP, which we got in the um, in the winter of this. I might review that set. But, um, yeah. That looks... It looks very good. It looks like it clicks and molds... It clicks and walks and everything and stands up. And it looks like the feet just kind of hang around and they just kind of go with the flow, you know, stand wherever you tell them to. But it, they look, they're posable. Looks really good. I like it. It's just like the motorized ATAT -AT that we got a long time ago. 
they're the snow troopers again and yes they have clone heads um yeah it's just about all i can say about them i guess i already said you know stuff about them here's the back of the box Let's see if i missed any of the features oh right they are there are spring loaded shooters in these looks like on the mouth area these spring-loaded shooters are really good. Like, they will fire across an entire room. If you don't have any of them, they just came out this year. It's a 2014 invention of by Lego. Much better than the flick fires because they fire a lot farther than flick fires will. Than flick fires ever did. And, um... Yeah, let's see what else I miss. Um, there's posable legs. Uh, not giving us dimensions on the back of the box. Sort of weird. Looks like... Oh, that's kind of cool. If you look down on the bottom... On the right side, there is, if you look like if you pull out the uh, tailpiece right there, that the snowtroopers will fall through the legs and, like, to be deployed into battle. That's really neat. If you can kind of see that on the bottom right there, like two little arrows. But, um, yeah, that looks really cool. I'm really liking that. So, um, final opinion of the set. Obviously, it is, oh, look, there's a poster inside of it, too. So, there you go. It is, this set looks like it's well worth it. I mean, it, less than 10 cents per piece, like 9.8 something probably, because there's a lot of Technic involved, that's probably why. But, it's another AT, 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 and if you do get, um, if you have some of the other ones, you don't really need to get it, unless you're really dying for these new snowtroopers, unless you have an army of the other ones. But, this is a very good, very good, very good set. Includes some remakes of some old figures, they're obviously new. And exclusive, except for the uh, regular snow trooper. He's in the um, snow snow speeder. And if you're gonna get this, get the snow speeder as well, to, so that you can have a little battle of Hoth battle, I guess. Like was really pushing battle of Hoth. Like they really like to make sets about that. But anyway, guys. So um, yeah, that's the analysis. Definitely go out buy the set when it comes out in August. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say about the set. So. Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed these nice HD pictures. My source to the pictures will be in the description. Uh, leave a comment down below. Seriously, anything. See if you agree or disagree with my opinions, analysis, anything. If you're going to buy the set, leave it in the comments. Just, I love seeing comments on my videos. I love reading any comments I get. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for all things LEGO Star Wars. R reviews, mocks, animations, hauls, analysis, everything. All things LEGO Star Wars. Go down to Watermelon Studios and click that big red subscribe button right there. So, once again, guys, thank you guys very much for watching this video. All these future set analysis for the summer 2014 wave are uploaded on the channel. I uploaded them all on the same day for you guys. So, that's all I want to say about this. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Mr. Watermelon. Peace out and subscribe.